It's Madden NFL 24, and it's brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Tennessee Titans and the Cleveland Browns, and it's all up next. We are within shouting distance of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as we get set for football on the lakeside here at Cleveland Brown Stadium. Today we've got a fun little clash of the AFC. That's going to be the Tennessee Titans taking on the Cleveland Browns. Brandon Gordon joined as always by my partner Charles Davis. Uh, Charles, these Browns, no other way to say it. They took a step back last year. Now, what do you think that they need to do to get back to the playoffs while competing in a tough AFC North? They need to get back to the identity that their head coach established a couple of seasons ago. A hard running game, consistent play from their quarterback, and then they have new management on the defensive side of the ball. They'll try and get after you in the pass rush. And meanwhile, the Titans last year, they were one of those strange statistical anomalies, CD. When you look at their defense, they were the best in football, number one overall against the run, but worst in the league, number 32 against the pass. And part of the reason they were number one against the run, the struggles they had slowing people down through the air. So people threw it and threw it and threw it and had great success. And a team that should have been in the playoffs last year somehow managed to miss it. Set to go now on a beautiful sunny afternoon. And off we go from Cleveland. And this taken in at the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22 yard line. So here come the Browns for their first drive on offense. They will be led out by their dual threat quarterback, the veteran from Clemson, it's Deshaun Watson. And he's exactly the man you want in control of your offense. Excellent arm, good zip on the ball, not afraid to use his legs when he needs to. And what he's excelled at doing is making plays when the first read isn't available or when the pressure's about to get to him. First play, Watson to the air. That's complete to Peoples-Jones. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. Oh, I see you nodding your head along with me, partner, because it's pretty obvious what they were trying to do there on the drag route. With his speed, they're hoping he can turn the corner and maybe take this to the house. But that was excellent work defensively to make sure once he caught it, he wasn't going anywhere. On second down, here's Watson. His throw incomplete. Had an open man that time. They ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Now it's Watson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Browns first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. But Deshaun Watson, and when you think about the toughest quarterbacks in the league to game plan against, he's got to be in your top five, does he not? And when you talk about game planning, putting him in the top five, that's an easy call because he can make every throw. That's not an issue at all. He has great touch delivering the football. But that mobility, that added dimension, oh, when he escapes the pocket and those receivers find their way open, short, medium, and long, he finds the right guy. And last but not least, his toughness. He can stand in the pocket, take a hit, and deliver. Again, they turn to four. Oh, able to avoid him. And he works three. Big yardage there for the Browns, 18. A couple of nice carries back to back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these are bare bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five more, five or more yards each time. That's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. Here's Watson. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free and it's second down. He already came through for them on this drive. No surprise that they were hoping he could do it again. 
So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Throwing again is Watson. This short pass into the hands of Njoku. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Eighth play of this opening drive coming up. This is third down. A shotgun snap for Watson. And that is incomplete. Fourth down now as the Titans' defense holds up in coverage. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Here we go on fourth. Watson. He's got his target. That's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Facing a fourth down, they come away with 18 yards and the first down conversion. Charles, their first drive of the game, and already they're taking chances here, but they get the fourth down conversion. I I'm curious, do you think that that's something they game plan for on the opening drive if it came up, or is that something that happened organically? I think that they game plan for it, Brandon, and when you think about it, let's just say it. The word analytics is looking for Cooper, and it's intercepted. It's Roger McCreary with a pick. Touchdown. Well, it's only the first quarter, but that's a quick shift of momentum right there because they were driving the football before that interception. And then not only, Charles, do they throw the pick, but it gets returned all the other way for the score. I think the important thing here was it backed up in their own territory. This defense didn't blink. They hung in there, waited for the offense to make a mistake. And as soon as they did, they capitalized in the biggest way possible. Nick Folk for the point after. And this is good. Our score, 7-0 Tennessee. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. From his end zone, here comes Jerome Ford. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. Second drive coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense. And you wonder, I mean, is it even possible, especially for the quarterback to mentally reset after that quick of a turnaround? But we're certainly going to find out, aren't we? Because that play will stay in your mind, but somehow you have to compartmentalize, put it aside, pick yourself up, and get moving in the right direction. They will start this drive with Ford. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. To throw on second is Watson. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. They'll come up facing third and five. Faking the give, now Watson. That is caught, and he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. Cooper's first catch, and good for a first down. I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere, and they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know, 
They want to get this man involved as well, and that's what they just did on that play. The handoff to Ford up the middle. And some good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. 12 more yards there and another first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. So operating from Tennessee territory now, here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Now Watson. He's got the connection to Moore. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 10 more there and another first down. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. Now a first down throw. Watson. He finds his man complete. That's Fuller. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. I tell you what, it looks like he's shaking off that pick six just fine. It's not just defensive backs that have to have short memories. Quarterbacks utilize that as well. A much more confident throw right there. On the ground, it's Ford. And he gets it down close to the 10-yard line. And now timeout is whistled as it appears there's a Brown shaken up on the play. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Here's second and three. This is the tight end to Joku. And the Browns are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. To throw is Watson. back nicely from that bad opening drive where he threw the interception. Drive number two leads him right down the field and into the end zone. So obviously his confidence was never lost and that's a good thing to see. Great quality to have. You absolutely must maintain that as a quarterback. But I have to think that they're probably still on the script that they prepared for this game. Just the second drive. They've worked on these plays all week in practice. Put them, in, put them to good use on that one. Hopkins with the extra point and we are tied at seven. They kick it away. Julius Chestnut now on the return. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Well, the Titans ready to take over on offense for the first time. And it is the now 35-year-old Ryan Tannehill who leads him out in his 12th NFL campaign. Those who expected Ryan Tannehill to go quietly into the night after the Titans drafted Will Levis, well, they clearly don't know this man well at all. He's a fighter and former comeback player of the year and expects to have his best season yet as a pro in this campaign. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their own 22. The NFL's active leader in rush yards, Derrick Henry, and he'll be taken down right around the 27. 
Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Henry again on second down. There he goes, right side. Fighting his way through contact. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 31 yards there and a first down. They had a chance to limit his yardage, but he was able to fight off that tackle. So it's not just the responsibility of the guys who missed the tackles along the way. It's all 11 on defense, able to stop this guy, unable to do it on that play. They've got to find a way. How about his ability to break through and gain that yardage? So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. They'll run it again with Henry. He'll get this down to the 38. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Second and six. Tannehill going to turn and give this to Henry. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. He may be a bit undersized compared to the modern-day NFL defensive tackle, but when he lacks in size, he definitely makes up for it his ability to make tackles in the run game as well. Here is third and five. Here's Tannehill. incomplete the coverage strong and now it's fourth down well, anytime he reads man coverage I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game he'll test the perimeter but that time they were up to the challenge here we go on four Tannehill pass taken in by his big tight end and he is going to pick up the titans first down so signals the referee as they're going to convert by about a yard there on fourth and five big conversion now Tannehill. it's complete this is derrick henry and inside the 20 before he's brought down. First down, Titans gain of 12. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. 48 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. This second and four. Now it's Tannehill off the bootleg. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And the Titans are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but 7-7, seven to seven, they're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get an advantage that way. Tannehill. Got a man, and it's taken in for a Titans touchdown. DeAndre Hopkins. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Titans have taken the lead. And in the red zone, I guess this is why you have a guy like that on your roster. Without a doubt, and if you have him, you use him. Because he's a guy who's going to win just about every time. I don't care what the coverage is. Extra point up and good by Folk. And that makes the score 14-7.
There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Browns offense trotting back onto the field. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch, and it's also tough to keep that up when you've just watched your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive the last into double-digit snaps. You need a score here not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent. And that's what they're doing right now, swapping that onus back and forth. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. His fourth catch already in this first quarter. It's a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. And that's going to be caught by Peoples-Jones. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. Through one quarter, 14-7 our score. On to the second from Cleveland. It's the Browns in control of the football as they've got it with a first and ten. This is Ford, and he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. And this offense on third down today, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This time it's third and three. Watson now to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And yeah, they were right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Now it's Watson, a bootleg. This is Aikens hauling in the short pass. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. The Browns passing game finding its stride. They've got another first down. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive. And here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. They run with Ford. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. The time is called. Looks like a member of the Titans in some discomfort out there. But the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Second and seven from the 20. Back to throw, Watson. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's four. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. That would a first down pickup of eight. The defense was ready for the back to leak out and even had a second player waiting to double him up. If you're going to commit to doubling a back, you better prevent a completion, but give him credit. Extra determination, extra effort, turn it into a successful play. On first and ten, Watson. And this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. Deshaun Watson finding Amari Cooper. And the Browns are within an extra point of tying up 
this ball game. So they've had two drives, and he's had the two receiving touchdowns. And how about a game plan where you decide to force feed or feature someone, and it works. First two drives, as you noted, end up in touchdown passes. I think they're going to keep going to him until a defense makes any kind of an adjustment. Extra point good by Hopkins, and we are tied at 14. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays. And it's Amari Cooper who finishes it off with a touchdown reception. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. shy of the 30. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now, they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. On first down, it's Tannehill. That's complete to Traylon Burks. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Here now, second and four. To throw is Tannehill. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Back to throw, Tannehill. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this is picked up by the Browns. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. The defense, they were swarming that time. It ultimately got to him before he could get rid of the football and knocked it free. And don't you feel just a little bit of sympathy for him back there, though? So much going on, so much swirling around. He's trying to find someone downfield. He's trying to move around to find an open target. Sometimes you forget the number one thing, take care of the football. Here's Deshaun Watson and the Browns back to the field. The returns on the last drive, pretty good. Seven for seven, touchdown pass. Probably take that, right? I would say so. I mean, when you're cutting them apart that way, feeling so accurate, so confident going downfield, and then able to culminate by putting it in the end zone, oh, yeah, he's feeling real good right now. Now he'll try to carry that over to this. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byer. And the Titans are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. Well, they were in a great position to take the lead, Charles. Obviously, all they needed was a field goal to do that. They wanted the touchdown. Unfortunately, they're going to get neither. And you know every offense talks about the same thing each week, don't they, Brandon? They want to end every drive with a kick, whether it's a field goal attempt, a point after the touchdown, or at worst, a punt. This time they had that opportunity but didn't get it because you know the field shrinks that close to the end zone and that allows a defense to tighten up their coverage and they pick that one off. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their own 21. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that's going to be incomplete. A great job defensively taking away his receivers. And he was forced to put that one into Lake Erie. But that's what good quarterbacks do. They don't take unnecessary chances if they don't have to. Here's second and ten. Here's Tannehill. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. Now the old pass completion for no gain, not something you want to call up out of the playbook too often. Yeah, most often 
Both coordinators don't have that on their play sheet, so they've got to go back and scramble after this one. But right now, with what they're telling receivers about making sure you take care of the ball in open field, sometimes the fighting for extra yardage doesn't come as a result. That and good tackling could lead to no yards gained. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Inside handoff, Henry. And he'll rumble for about five, up close to the 40. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Second and five. Off play action, Tannehill. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as after a ride. Tracked it from the moment of the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. This offense so far on third down, just one for three thus far. This will be third and five. Tannehill. And this is going to be incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. On fourth down, Ryan Stonehouse on the punt. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. Ready to take over again on offense. Out comes Cleveland. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Oh, he shifts past him. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 to mark him down at the 39. 73 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start. Here's another first and 10. Here's Watson. Pressure comes, and the Titans able to bring him down. The sack by Harold Landry, the former Boston College Eagle. Well, that's what they have to do more of defensively, not just getting sacks, but they have to keep getting in his face, not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carving him up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. On second down now, it's Ford, and he'll get this up to about the 40. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? Here's third and nine. Here's Watson. Escaping the pressure right. And he nearly got the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down. That looked great when he first took off because, in my mind, there was room to run, and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. And this is going to work out well as it's out of bounds near the 13-yard line. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone.
Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their own 13. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. It's complete. Burks finding space at the 40. Still on his feet. Trailing Burks. Touchdown, Titans. Trailing Burks, 87 yards. And the Titans are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. And Charles, I had an offensive coordinator tell me one time that they designed every play to score. I don't know how true that is, but he had to run a long way after that catch. Heck of a play. I think that when he was telling you that, he was designing run after catch in every play. I mean, that's the only way to put it in there, and that's what we got on that one. Nice catch, an even better run for big yardage. Folk connects on the extra point, and the lead is now 21-14. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. Now he's having himself a little bit of a banner game. His team right now, though, losing. Needs a little bit of help, and I kind of equate it to a basketball game where you have the big score, and sometimes your strategy is, okay, he can go ahead and have all of his points. Let's hold down everyone else, and that's the way you win the game. And right now, he needs everyone else to start scoring, quote unquote, as he's been. Yeah, and he's hoping to keep it close so maybe they can keep it on the ground, not start to go through the air as much. They run on first down, but it only produces a gain of two. It's second down now. Offense looked a little bit discouraged after that play, shaking their heads a bit, looking at each other. I think they thought they'd get a lot more out of that call. Sometimes you do get the running lane you want, and other times, the defensive front, they just break up the play before it can get going. Watson. He's got Njoku, his big tight end. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. They've looked his way quite a bit, and in my estimation, as well they should. Well, that's now five catches in this first half alone. And he picks up another first down. He's been an important part of their offense here early. On first down, four. 88 yards rushing for him now to this point. From the lineman to the guy running with it, that was a well-executed first down by the offense. With two shots left to get the first, you can get a little aggressive here on second down if you want and try for some bigger yardage. From the 48-yard line, here's the second down and four. They'll fake the handoff. Now Watson out to his... And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Harold Landry, that is now two sacks for him here in this first half. And nowhere to hide on that play. No, there was not because every exit door, that was surrounded. And I think that was supposed to be a bootleg, but he had no chance to get outside the pocket and try and make a play. Throwing on third down, Watson. And a nice job there defensively to contain him and get him to the ground a few yards short of the first down marker. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. On fourth down, on is Corey Bohork has to punt. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. 
Traylon Burks headed back out with the rest of this offense. He's already approaching 100 yards and has the touchdown. I'm sure on that opposite sideline right now, they're scratching their heads saying, all right, what do we do? And the hard part is, even if you limit him to a short catch, he has that make you miss ability right. to take it for big yardage and put in the end zone again. So trying to blanket him is very difficult, but ultimately, You've got to find a way to put him on the ground, tackle him, and he doesn't make that easy. They're struggling with that so far. Miles Garrett, that is now two sacks for him here in this first half. And that sack, Charles, just looked like a case where a speedy defensive end is a little bit quicker than the offensive tackle. Yeah, it makes it difficult for a tackle to determine what exactly to do. Do you do the kick slide and try and get back in the pocket and meet him there? Do you meet him on the line of scrimmage where they call a quick set? In any event, right now, he's having his troubles. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance and guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. He did a fine job there of not hitting it before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often miss time that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. This is taken at about the 14. 13 yards, the tally on the return there. And the Browns will take over, first and 10. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. They're behind in the first half here, CD, but it's not through any fault of their running back. He's had a strong start to this one. And you're right about that, partner, because watching him play, you would think that his team is in the lead. He has been a lot of fun in this contest. Now let's see if they can actually make something happen and put more points on the board behind his efforts. Yeah, I'm curious to see, Charles, if they can play complimentary football and get that passing game going as well. Looking deep in the direction of Cooper. This is caught inside the 15. are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. And a little time left on the clock, so on the other side, they're thinking, gosh, we'd like to get that lead right back. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Here I am <laughs> going ahead and tapping out the first half. Well, There's still time. Way. They've got to make a decision about what they want to do on the kickoff, whether they want to let their return guy touch it. Hopkins with the extra point, and that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. Teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. Taken at the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as he'll get him down shy of the 20. The Titans offense going to get one final possession in this first half. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. Now Tannehill. And he'll get this underneath to Henry. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. Call it a gain of a yard, and it'll be second down. Second 
So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They are all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. started for the second half it was an even first half all tied on the scoreboard and a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30 yard line the Titans getting set to go here to begin the third quarter this offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter well quarters number one and two entertaining we saw some good offense points put up Charles and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? Yeah, he did not want to go down there as he carries tacklers for a solid gain of nine. Now that's a run that warms a play caller's heart because you're actually set up to do whatever you want on offense. You can come right back and run essentially the same play because you have momentum. Or you can fake that running play and throw something deep over the top. Or you now feel like you have an extra down to play with because if you go ahead and just throw it and you don't get it, come back and try and pick it up on third down. And Henry going to have a Titans first down as he's up to the 44-yard line. And Brandon, you know that expression? He just does what he does. <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. Meanwhile, Tannehill's throw hauled in by Westbrook Akina here. Short completion, just four yards, and that'll make it second down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Tannehill now to throw. That's caught. Left side, it's Burks. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. That, I believe, will put him over 100 yards receiving for the game. Yes, it will. And he's got a first down to boot. Henry up the middle. And give the tackle to Anthony Walker. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Ball on the 40 now. Here's a second down and nine. Here's Tannehill. And he's taken down. This will be a brown sack. Miles Garrett getting him once again his third sack of the afternoon. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. So third and long after the sack, tough task for Tannehill and the Titans. 
They'll set up a throw. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Miles Garrett, two plays in a row now that he has gotten in there for the sack, and it brings up fourth down. Well, this has to count as a great team effort today, but this man, he's been at the center of all of it. Really special day for any defense to have this many sacks in a game, even more so for this player. One well, of the best individual efforts of the season. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Here comes Amari Cooper and the rest of the Cleveland offense. Now this defense, they wouldn't mind not seeing him again for a while. <laughs> Three trips to the end zone. How about that? I think right now they would happily go to their general manager and say, is there any way you could get a trade for him? Bring him over to our team so Switch we don't have to cover him anymore because he is really having a heck of a ball game, isn't he? Boy, he is. I don't know if that mid-game train's going to happen, but good point. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. Up the middle they go. It's Ford. And he takes us up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. And even 100 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient, followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. Right back to him on first down. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe, up to the 41. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. And we're at the 41, second and nine. Now it's Watson. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 45-yard line. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves to James. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. So operating from Tennessee territory now, here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Watson now to throw. And that one's going to come up a little short. It's incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Now a second and ten. Now a handoff up the middle. Four. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Officially nothing on that one, no gain, so they're left with still 10 to go on third down. Out of the gun, Watson. And fights through one man. And now past another. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 22 yard. decided to blitz a very good job of recognizing it stepping away from the pressure and finding open space to scramble and pick up a first down now a first down throw Watson and that went too far in front he couldn't reel it in it's incomplete well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Second and 10. Up the middle they go. It's Ford. And forget that 100-yard rushing game, at least for the moment, as he'll lose yardage here and fall back under the century mark for the game. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. Tough spot here, third down at 11. 
To throw is Watson. A throw out wide going to be incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. Here's Dustin Hopkins now to try the field goal. They'll spot it at the 30, so this is a 40-yard attempt. Hopkins' kick is good. And with it, they'll take the lead at 24-21. Well, a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner? Because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. We're following the main field goal for three. Hopkins now to kick it off. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Tennessee's offense back to work again. We'll see Traylon Burks. Good day for him so far here in the third quarter. He's hit pay dirt once, over 100 yards. But, hey, it's the third quarter. He's thinking, I want more, right? He wants more, and it just increases the confidence of his team because every play he makes, that means his quarterback is really feeling good about throwing the football. Probably feels like he can't throw an incomplete pass when he throws it to him right now. Yeah, he's looked really, really sharp. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. Two things to watch. First, his strength and being able to break out that initial contact. But at his size, once you slow his momentum, it's hard for him to get it started again and end up tackling him behind the line of scrimmage. From the gun, here's Tannehill. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Well, that's where this Cleveland crowd, the dog pound in particular, make it difficult on opposing offenses. It looked like they might have had troubles communicating at the line, and it leads to the incompletion. On third down, Henry. And the window closes quickly. He'll only get up to the 22-yard line. Only a yard on the pick up there, and it's going to leave them with a fourth down. We often talk of situational football. Let's just call it team football. The defense did their job, got off the field, brought up a punting situation, so they're turning the ball back over to their offense. You think those guys will get along very well right now? Of course they will. Defense helped the offense. Now it's their turn to take it downfield. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. The Browns set to take over. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Watson on first down. Throw left side, complete. That's four. So the completion good for just three. And that'll bring up second down. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. The result, only four yards there on the play. And now it's third and three. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. Watson on third down. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. 
Partner, the way this offense has marched up and down the field during this game, it's almost a surprise to see an incomplete pass on third down, isn't it? Yeah, they have had their foot on the gas all game long, but here finally stalling out. The Browns send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return, and it'll be Titan football. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their own 22. Now back to throw. Open man, Westbrook Akine. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. A gain of nine brings up second and one at the 32-yard line. Just need a yard here, second and one. Henry running right. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. Again, it's Henry, and he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. And that's complete to Westbrook Akine. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. On first down, it's Tannehill. Going to the right here and finding Burks. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. Now Tannehill. And that's incomplete. I can assure you setting up the screen is much more difficult than it appears. It requires excellent timing from everyone on the offense. And the defense's number one goal is to throw that timing off. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Again, Tannehill. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Titans first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size... This intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. That's complete downfield to Okonkwo. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. 
And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Here's Tannehill. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Three touchdown passes now for Ryan Tannehill. And the Titans have taken a fourth quarter lead. I know we often laugh and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game, and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. Extra point up and good by Folk, and that will make this a four-point game. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. The football going back over now to the Cleveland Browns. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. Watson and the Browns now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Here's Watson. Over the middle, Amari Cooper. It's complete. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. On second down, it's Ford, and he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. The Browns on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. Here it's third and two. They'll keep it on the ground. Four. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Back to throw, Watson. This short pass into the hands of Njoku, and they will only muster a yard here to the 38. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on, catching the ball and not much run after the catch. 38-yard line, second and nine. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Ford, and able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 10, and the Browns are going to get a first down. Another carry for their leader, and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. A couple of first downs on the drive already, as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and it'll be second and very short. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. Up the middle they go. Four. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Four yards the pickup, first down. 
that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. On first down, Watson. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. That was for the lead right there. They know they're in a position where fortune favors the Brave. So they took their shot, but couldn't connect. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Throwing again is Watson. It's caught, Cooper. And he's gonna have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titan 17 yard line. A good pick up there, 22. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. They'll try the left side. It's Ford. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. That time they're able to bottle him up, but he's having a really nice game. I agree with that. Let's just go big picture, right? Every back that's in the Hall of Fame had carries where they didn't gain yardage or they lost yardage, but you stick with them, don't you? When they're having a good game, keep feeding them. On second down now, it's Ford. And he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 14-yard line. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take him in short, steady bursts. Here comes third down at seven. They run with a veteran speedster. It's Kareem Hunt. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it here. Why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. They'll try and run for it with four. And he takes this one in. back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. And this is a time of game where offensive lines can really dictate a team's fortunes. It's been a tough battle. They've been out there for a long time. But this was a question of who can wear down who. And that's excellent work to put a long drive together and finish it with a touchdown run to take the lead. Extra point good by Hopkins. And that gives him a three-point lead. Touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. The Titans offense now, they work their way back onto the field. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at the 20. He'll start with a give to Henry. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second and just about a few inches here. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon. And I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. Now a play fake, and it's Tannehill. A shot downfield for Burks. It's caught inside the 25. 
A big play that time for the Titans. 53 yards. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defenses have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Tannehill now on the option left. And he will score. Touchdown, Titans. Ryan Tannehill from 17 yards out. And the Titans are able to move back in front. A plenty of scoring here of late, and our lead changes hands now in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they just gave up a touchdown the other end, so they knew that with time getting short, they had to put something together here, and they were able to do so and retake the lead right back. Full connects on the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. So the drive there, they went 80 yards in three plays, and it was all finished off by the 17-yard touchdown run. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're back because that means everything's coming together for you. Big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. On first and 10, Watson. Wide open, Amari Cooper. And they work this well upfield across the 45. The end result, 21 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on their first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Now a give right side. Four. And some room to run now. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 24 yards the gain there. Another first down as well. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Watson. And that's going to be caught by Peoples-Jones. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Ford, and he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Four yards the pick up, first down. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, it can go for a touchdown. But the runs that really make it work are the ones where you just get what you need, right? And he barely got the first down, but he got it. Again, they turn to Ford. And he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get your reset. 
They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down the wire. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. Here's third down and five. Watson to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Partner, they've got one chance left to keep this one going. And I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now. Has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest, and remember what's worked and what has it. Because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. Desperation time. Watson on fourth down. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. They're not out of it yet, but in order to come back, they need to play clean football the rest of the way. He makes a correct read there, passing on challenging a blanket coverage and getting the first down with his legs instead. Here's first and goal. Now Watson. Flushed out right. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they take it away. has been and what a drive that was Charles to take the lead here late in the fourth quarter and partner that's a job well done by everyone from the players to the guys calling the plays and if I may introduce just one downside to the mix might be a little bit too much time left enough on the clock for a final last ditch effort to try and steal this win away Hopkins with the extra point so it's now a three point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it the touchdown Dustin Hopkins will kick it away and he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line so now Tannehill and the Titans down by a field goal 55 seconds remaining now they need at minimum three points out of this as they come up first and ten Tannehill to Henry and he'll be out of bounds across the 30 yard line now second and four Here's Tannehill. That's to the sideline and incomplete. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete a pass like happened there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's throwing it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions, and that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. Tannehill to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and ten now. 
Now Tannehill. This will go to Henry out wide. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. Here's a second and seven. Tannehill. A throw right side here going to be incomplete. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his home. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. Running from the gun with Henry. Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the Field. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. Too far for a field goal. They've got to go. It's fourth down. Desperation time for Tannehill on fourth down. That's to his running back complete. And he'll take this for a short gain on what will prove to be the final play of this ball game. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And this Browns defense stands tall. The Browns in victory formation now as they take the knee. 